Hey, hey, welcome to episode 3 of the What Comes to Mind series. As you can see, I am outside in the sun. I decided to come out a bit earlier to try and get as much vitamin D as I could possibly can. And it's rightly so because today's episode is about psychology and how important it is, but also how, again, as with the series, my perception has changed in terms of the word and how much it means to me, and I'm sure how much it means to all of you. So when it comes to my first understanding of the word psychology, for me it was about how to actually spell it. So when I was younger, I found it very, very difficult to even spell the word. So I used to have fond memories of spelling bees, spelling classes, and try to pronounce and even spell the name. But now when I think of psychology, there's so much more to it. And for me personally, the first thing I think of is it is the first step to everything we do. It is by far the first step to anything we do, anything we act, any way, any way we think or decide to behave is governed by how we think and that's to do with our psychological mind. Um, so I mentioned nutrition before and exercise but the reason why I wanted to finish on this three part bit on psychology and why I want to focus my research on this area is it completely governs the way we do everything, how we think governs how we eat, how we dress, how we exercise, how we interact. And it's a complete basis for everything. And I thought, why not talk about that today? But another thing to add, uh, when I was younger, when I heard the word psychology, I used to associate it with disorders, psychological disorders, or poor mental health, never giving it justice that there's a lot of positivity about mental health and psychology in that sense. So when I was younger in my teenage years, that's generally the consensus and the perception I used to have. Uh, whenever I heard the word psychology in lessons, in school, on the news, it was also associated with some form of depression, some form of anxiety, um, some form of difficulty in that sense. But now, because of the way I am, thankfully, or what I've learned over the years, it's now a whole different meaning. So when I think of the word psychology in a positive manner, which I try to do now more as much as I can, I think of habits and memories. The reason why I chose those two in particular is I now try to strengthen my day, my life, my career on a series of habits, a series of making videos, a series of studying, a series of talking, a series of working out, a series of eating better, you know, a series of mini habits. And when I think of that, I think of strengthening or consolidating or solidifying my positive psychology. And then think of memories. You know, the great memories that I've had, even the negative memories that you've learned from, that you try not to let cripple you. That's what comes to mind for me when I think of psychology in that context. And then lastly, nature. You know, um, I try to move away from the notion of psychology is uh, looking at disorders, looking at there's something wrong with somebody, and then you have the word psychology added to that mix. But also, the way we interact, um, how we live our life, um, what we feel when we see something here all around me. How do we see, you know, this, what, is, what comes to mind when we uh, think of stuff like this? That's what I think of as well in terms of psychology. So I really, really want to know what you think um, because we've all, as I mentioned before in the other previous videos, and I'll mention it again, we come from different backgrounds, we come from different lifestyles, um, uh, different perceptions, different memories. So does psychology have a generic meaning to you or is it something in particular? Is it attributed to something that happened in your life, you know, personal or not? Psychology takes a different meaning to whoever hears the word. So I'd love to hear your thoughts on psychology. I'm going to try to get some more vitamin D now. Enjoy the rest of the video because you're going to see some bits of nature that I've managed to put together. Um, please excuse my average nature uh, videography, but I hope you enjoy it. And I want to hear what you guys think of when you see those videos or those clips of today's video. And let me know. Right, let me go get some vitamin D. See you tomorrow for another video. A little bit of a surprise on that one as well. Take care.